ladies and gentlemen, this is Mapolo from Mapolo's Canal. Renee, your mindset. Guys, now, <laughs> so Labour Party lawyers. Labour Party lawyers, I, I, and, and I neck lawyers, and I neck. And I neck, and I neck lawyer. They don't, they don't they fight for court. Mm? <laughs> this are not the ordinary, may they use, uh, may they use uh, section one, subsection two, they fight again. Mm, no, 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 they know they use law, they fight now. This one a total physical fight. <laughs> Verbal fight like this. You go no say you don't read. This court case, you don't say go. <laughs> you don't hard. <laughs> so Labour Party, Labour Party lawyers and INEC lawyers, Labour Party candidates and INEC themselves, they don't they fight. Normal fight in a physical. One I gonna approach it but this one not be not be today. You say, sir, and my lord. Section two, subsection three. No, 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 no. That one is not working anymore. <laughs> they need physical or uh, boom, boom. He could turn on them. <laughs> so when they turn, I like to bring what it and somebody that I like say they no go bring. <laughs> bring what it and somebody you bring. That's an evidence. That's they no go submit them. Okay, no, no. They know where they fight you now. For those one never see fight. All right now. Watch the video. There was an altercation between the Labour Party and INEC at the Presidential Election Petitions Court on Wednesday following claims made by Peter Obi's lead counsel, Levi Uzoku, that the INEC chairman was dodging the service of subpoena issued by the court for him to produce certain documents. You know what, producer? This happened after the Labour Party had tendered some IRA reports and results from about seven states and their local government areas. The Labour Party and Peter Obi then told the court that they had wished to conclude tendering of documents, but that they are constrained by the refusal of the INEC chairman to receive subpoena directing him to produce critical documents which they need to submit as part of the trial. He sought for an adjournment to enable him resolve the issue with the lead counsel for INEC, Abubakar Mahmoud, who, according to him, had promised to assist. But Kemi Pinero, who led the INEC legal team for the day's proceedings, in the Labour Party case, disputed the claim and took a slight dig at the petitioners, saying they're always seeking for excuses to ask for adjournment. According to him, similar subpoenas were served on the INEC chairman by the PDP, and it was received without any report or evasion of service. Pinero, a senior advocate of Nigeria, said it had become a signature tactic of making INEC the whipping boy over the Labour Party's inability to follow through with their case reminding that the petitioners had only called two out of the 50 witnesses they had proposed to call with barely over a week left for them to close their case. This led to a sharp retort by Obi's lawyer, who took offense with Pinero saying his use of language was unfair to him. It took the intervention of presiding Justice Haruna Samani to calm the situation, urging the senior lawyers to show respect to the court as they have always been heating out at each other. Fight. Obi's case was subsequently adjourned till Thursday, 15th June for continuation. Meanwhile, in the case of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Atiku Abubakar vs. INEC, the court admitted the statistician's report on INEC election data in evidence as forensic analysis report on the 2023 presidential election, independently analyzed by a star witness of the PDP and Atiku Abubakar in its ongoing challenge of Bola Tinubu's election victory. The star witness, Samuel Oduton, who identified himself as a professional statistician. His report was admitted amidst the objection by the respondents, which include INEC, Tinubu and the APC. After being led in evidence-in-chief by the petitioner's lead counsel for the day, Eitayo Jagede, his cross-examination was deferred till Thursday, based on the agreement by the counsel to their respective parties. Now, after after PDP here yes, say I know they they show themselves that they that they misbehave. Yes, that's the right language. That they are misbehaving. Say say they no go they no go bring they no go receive the subpoena when they give them they go tender with it and say me they tender. Now, now PDP lawyers converse. You know all those Michael's they come at them. They come provoke. <laughs> they say not the only document and other evidence is then go they go only tender. I know they must come to court themselves to come and show us these results. To come and show us this evidence, made them show us by themselves. <laughs> they that must, they must subpoena, they must subpoena INEC. That means they must, they must compare them to come to court by themselves. May they can't answer serious questions. Personally, this will not be evidence or no evidence again. As them be said that they don't, they don't, they don't become one of the political party. They don't do one side. So may they, 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 they going to be questions. For those who never see lawyers, lawyers they talk this thing now. All right now, watch video. 
They say Mahmoudou must come to court. Mahmoudou himself needs to come to court. May you go answer. This will not be uh, evidence again. Mahmoudou himself must show himself for court. I never know anything. Where is Mark is coming? Come and tell us what you want to tell us. Today, uh, we called our star witness who gave very robust evidence. And you see, in the course of his evidence, he also tendered those video clips, very important video clips, showing the IMA chairman making the commitment to Nigerians for that real-time transmission of the results by the Beavers machine to the IRA. And you see, with that established, we are very, very happy with uh, what has happened today. And we also tendered even screenshots from the IRA. We saw the documents tendered. So when we now uh, mentioned that uh, we had subpoenaed the INEC chairman, you can see that there are some documents we tendered and we objected to. But now we are also uh, uh, subpoenaing them to come by themselves and produce those documents. Those documents, let them produce them themselves so that we know whether they will object or not object to the ones they will produce by themselves. They will come by themselves. Thank you. When I don't see the video, mm. I not need to come by themselves. Make them tell us whether whether this video what would they watch here, whether that true, I've been a, a lie. <laughs> they will they will subpoena them. Whether not subpoena subpoena what do they call them? They will subpoena them. <laughs> Where did they dress me now? So, so the one I watch this uh this uh senator when 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 both me stand up. For Senate House, they, since when the wife they judge case, now him when be the senator they they, they influence a wife. <laughs> he they transfer into his wife judge, judge uh, matter the 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 the, the case when the wife supposed judge rightly. He go tell the wife make it bend up, make it protect the whole senators and all the whole politician, all the whole politician because say now then be then be in friend. Now since then I don't I don't, I don't, I don't even lose interest in Nigerian judiciary finally. So somebody will be the president of appeal court in husband they tell him hi one judge case for house before you go go court. When I not see when I not see on our life. Somebody in senator stand up. They're not for some more like willingly. Even the senior president they tell and say, This direction where you they go off your mic, you know go help us. You know go help us. He said, No, he must talk and he just like one holy spirit. Don't attack somebody. You come to tell and say, Confess, confess, confess. No, they don't carry ratatapu for your neck. They don't carry knife, put for your neck. Now you just confess by yourself, willingly. <laughs> Say that you they tell your wife, but he won't talk for court. Say that guy, no, no put him for prison. No judge, I'm wrong. He, you just make people, they lose their cases with your wife. And now nobody, nobody. Now since then, I don't even lose, I don't lose hope for this case. I lose hope for Nigerian judiciary. Even now, so, husband, come on husband, one, one day for home. They decide how your wife will be the president of President, president of uh, what do they call him? Uh, appeal court. When they decide what did happen there, uh, I'll be like chief justice and I be for appeal, appeal court level. Now you did have the time and said, Now my friend, free him. Now my friend, no, he free him. The other one, say, Now the other one, they wrong. So when I go carry the innocent person, say, Now he did wrong. Carry the wrong person, say, Now he did right. No, me, me, me turn that fire on. And they are and they are like, she's dead. No, nah, nah, I don't lose. I don't lose. I don't lose hope. For those who never see the clip of where that man they confess. All right, now watch the video. Let's begin what's trending. Adamu Bukachua, the senator representing Bauchi North, on Monday set social media buzz after stating during a valedictory session of the Ninth Senate that he often influenced his wife, Zainab Bukachua, a former president of the Court of Appeals, decisions. While she was in office, Zainab is the first female to hold the position of president of the Nigerian Court of Appeal. Mm. In 2019, mm. she was the chairman of the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, mm. but later recused herself from participating in adjudicating petitions no, filed no, no, by no, Atiku no. Abubakar, challenging the re-election of President Muhammad Buhari. Mm. Well, ahead of the 10th House, her she husband, Adamu, revealed that his wife used her position as a judge to favor his colleagues in the Senate. Let's take a listen Shame. before we come back for a discussion. Shame. At my age, yes. I don't think I will lobby anybody under the sun. Ah. I would do the right thing. 
and I always do the right thing and sincerely and honestly too. By influencing your wife, Abby? So, I know, I look at faces in this chamber mm. whom have come to me <clears throat> and sought for my help mm. when my wife was the president of the Court of Appeal. Well, the play. And I'm sure I'm... Uh, um, uh... The single senator Adam Ahmed I, I, I think I would advise that you Off your mind. just round up and uh, take your seat. Off your mind. Many, many names. <laughs> we know, we know ourselves. We know ourselves. I must say that okay to round up. Hmm. Since that's what you want me to do. Yes. I will do that. Okay. And I must thank particularly my wife. Yes. Whose freedom and independence I encroached upon for being not dependent while she was in and, office. And being corrupt and in office. She has been very tolerant mm. and accepted my encroachment yeah. and extended her help to my colleagues. Uh, the so wish. <laughs> Please, I, I don't think this is a good idea. We we'll use that mic. It's not a good idea. Mm. You know, I said you're not a good idea. Too. I don't want to talk in mind. Even the senior president, they fear. Why you they fear? You don't people want to unfold when they're influencing case. I don't know. Off your mic. I know she's saying that they're writing when you they talk. So now you don't tell her what you're writing. Now, how did you know, sir, they, they born and so? You need to confess. He said, it's not the right thing. What does it not be right thing? You don't know that the, the spiritual supersedes the physical. You don't know that the spiritual controls the physical. So people don't have a prayer of confession. Now they confess. He said, it's not. Now, I, it is that they use clear eye, they do this kind of confession. They implicate your wife. You don't know saying they implicate your wife. <laughs> they finish your, your wife remaining career. But, 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 you don't know saying they finish her. You think that my eye, this is a spiritual manipulation. <laughs> So these are the country now. Since when I see this confession, when they talk about the judicial system again, and they assume so that they influence all of them. So it now depends on the power that be that is influencing that judge when they're there. Now they determine our outcome in Nigeria. I don't want to talk too much. Guys, if you love your audience, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, even on TikTok. Hello, my brother. I love you guys. Peace out.